In this video we are going to talk about wedding vow renewal, everything you need to know. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to the Best for Bride YouTube channel for future updates. Many couples decide to recommit to one another by renewing their wedding vows. Renewal of vows can take place at any time after your wedding, some people choose to do so once a year, while others plan a renewal to mark an important occasion, such as a milestone anniversary or having persevered through a variety of difficulties, such as raising children or achieving life goals while still being completely in love. Here are some things to think about before you begin and ways that a renewal of your wedding vows may be both enjoyable and meaningful to help you celebrate and reaffirm your love and devotion for one another. A ceremony that works for your union is one that is significant for vow renewal. This implies that you and your partner might simply exchange vows in your backyard in front of a small group of friends and family for a vow renewal instead of making it a big event like a typical wedding. However, it is an opportunity to invite a sizable crowd of people for a celebration akin to a wedding reception if you eloped, your wedding did not go as you had hoped, or specific friends and family members were unable to attend. It makes sense to spend money on a symbolic memento of an important event. A rose dipped in 24 karat gold, a gift that symbolizes your love and will endure a lifetime, could serve as a keepsake for the day instead of new rings. This would serve as a constant reminder of how significant your wedding vows were. Make up your own vows. At your renewal, you have the option of saying your initial vows again or exchanging new vows that are personalized for you and not constrained by the laws governing legal religious or civil weddings. Writing your own vows may seem difficult, but it is worth the time and work to make them special to you. Use what is meaningful to you and draw inspiration from vow examples from your own religious tradition or from others. Say it yourself. Be on the same page regarding your vow's goals. Would you rather add humor or write in a poetic, romantic tone? Do you write the same vows to one another as you did at your wedding or something different? Whether the vows are revealed on the big day or are known previously is also up to you. The most significant element of the ceremony, your vows should comprise general commitments expressed in your own words and style. This can contain both general commitments, like your support in both good and bad times, and specifics, like a vow to always permit them to play golf on Sundays. Do not attract attention to the negative aspects of your prior relationship, instead, concentrate on your future together. Your vows, for instance, might begin with your declaration of love, compliments on your spouse, a description of how you two first met and realized you were destined to be together, the making of pledges, and a final vow. When you know that you won't wince when you read your vows 10 years from now, you will know that they are the appropriate ones. Leave omit anything that feels awkward, such as intensely intimate anecdotes or code phrases, so as not to humiliate you or your visitors. Finally, Get into the habit of reading your vows aloud so you can catch and fix sentences that seem odd. If you get too upset during the ceremony, you may need to give the officiant the final version without any changes. This completed version might serve as a memento of the event. Ask your children or grandchildren to write a few words to say at the ceremony if you want to include them in the celebration and create a special family memory. Costs and Preparation your wedding vow renewal ceremony or event can cost as little or as much as you choose. It will cost extra if you want a huge audience and a carefully planned event. Fortunately, planning a vow renewal celebration only takes a few weeks, far less time than it would take to really arrange a wedding with all of the customs and etiquette guidelines that frequently apply. Before you hunt for a venue and think about food, you and your spouse only need to agree on the budget, the scope of the event, and the date. No regulations apply. Your wedding day is not recreated at a renewal ceremony. There are no regulations because it is not a legal ceremony, however some celebrants and wedding chapels may require you to provide your marriage license in order to repeat your vows in a traditional house of worship. But you can also select a public or outdoor area for the event. Include only the components that you adore, 
You may wish to wear your wedding dress from the beginning or a new one, the choice is yours. Although it's not required, you can like a cake with multiple tiers. To make the occasion more memorable, keep it in your own unique manner rather than doing something you feel you should, ought to, or ought to do. Who should attend? Invite the loved ones who have helped your marriage throughout the years. This may be a small gathering or a sizable gathering with extended families. It's uncommon to invite co-workers to such a private affair. The couple or their children can send out invitations that resemble wedding invitations. With the inclusion of the place, date, and time, this may simply read, the honor of your attendance is requested at the reaffirmation, or renewal, of the wedding vows of, names of the couple. The children of, names of the couple, respectfully seek your attendance at their parents' reaffirmation ceremony, as an alternative. Officiants. Your vow renewal ceremony can be officiated by anyone, so it could be a clergyman or a judge, but it could also be your child or a close friend. You don't necessarily need to schedule a legal marriage celebrant for a vow renewal. You can also decide to say your vows to each other directly rather than through an officiant. Location Selection Anywhere that holds sentimental value for the two of you can be used to repeat your vows, whether it be at home or abroad, indoors or outdoors. Some couples may have discussed renewing their vows and may decide that a trip is the ideal time and location to do it. This is especially true for couples who are celebrating a significant wedding anniversary by going on a trip of a lifetime. A destination wedding frequently renews passion and forges fresh, cherished memories. In order to enhance your relationship without the formalities of a ceremony, if you and your partner are the type who will love this kind of spontaneity, you can ask someone to officiate your wedding or repeat your vows by taking on a challenge like a tandem skydive or mountain climb. Where you first met. It can be the ideal place to renew your pledges to each other if there is a particular place where you first met that has sentimental value to you. You might request that a restaurant provide the same dinner you did when you first met, or you can hire a movie theater to host a private screening of your wedding film for family and friends. Renewing your wedding vows at the place where many of your fondest memories were created can make for a fun and laid-back celebration, but you should reserve outside caterers so you are not confined to the kitchen during the party. Renewing your vows under a tree you both planted or on the deck you built will add a special touch to the day. How to dress. The bride is free to wear whatever she prefers. If she feels comfortable in it, she may choose to wear her first wedding dress, a new wedding dress, or something else entirely. A fresh piece of jewelry received as a present from the groom heightens the romance. She wouldn't be required to wear a veil, but hats and flower crowns are both appropriate accessories, as are bouquets and corsages. The groom may opt to commemorate the occasion by donning his original wedding attire with a new tie or by donning a totally new look with a boutonniere in your lapel and possibly a new watch from his bride. Although there are no strict guidelines for a renewal ceremony, you can both go down the aisle together if you wish to maintain the wedding atmosphere. Children, close family members, and special friends can perform readings, and you can play moving music, just like you would at a wedding ceremony, in addition to the exchange of vows. Anything in between, including a quiet family meal, a lively party like a conventional wedding reception, is appropriate. You can have everything a wedding reception would typically contain, such as champagne, dancing, cake, and more. Hire a skilled and experienced local wedding photographer to enhance your recollections. Have pictures of your wedding and significant family events over the years available for guests to view. The two of you might express their gratitude to loved ones for their assistance throughout the marriage at some time throughout the celebration. A gift registry is ineffective. If visitors insisted on a gift, recommend making a donation to your preferred charity. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.